So the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro series are out this week and the first thing all of you are going to do, no doubt, is to put a brand new case on your brand new phone to protect it from being scratched and bumped and cracked and absolutely smashed to smithereens. I've got some brilliant cases for you here from a company called Case Coo. Now, Case Coo, fantastic company, reviewed some of their cases in the past. I can fully recommend these guys, really good cases and they do really make some different nice designs for your new iPhone, no matter which model that you go for. If you do want to grab one at the end of this video, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. That's an affiliate link and it helps this channel grow. While you're down there, please make sure you subscribe because we've got plenty of videos just like this come in every single week. So they've got this one for the normal iPhone. This is a dummy model that they've sent me just to test out the case. This is a really nice case. It's got a clear back and sort of the grippy sides, but that's sort of the, like the basic ones they do. Along with this one for the Pro, which is their clear prime series. Really protective, like I said, the camera bump on here is very protective because those cameras protrude quite a way out of the back of the camera. You're still gonna get that rocking, unfortunately, on the iPhone 14 when it's down on the table. But these cases are just for showing off the iPhone no matter what color you've got I've gone for the silver personally I think that's the nicest color and you've got the chrome outsides on the Pro models of course and I really like that so sometimes I generally tend to lean towards a clear case to show off the color of the phone but if you don't want a clear case and you want something a little bit different they do the version which is called the Ku Shock now I've got my iPhone 13 Pro in here because although it's last year's model the actual dimensions of the phone this year are exactly the same as this one so yeah it fits very nicely again like I said brilliant big and very protective camera lip on here on the front as well on the screen you've got a decent lip all the way around the screen feels nice feels grippy it's a really nice frosted back now this hasn't got any built-in magnets so it's not going to be compatible with MagSafe accessories it will still work with wireless charges though any Qi compatible charges you've got it will charge through this case no problem it just won't work with any sort of MagSafe accessories like the wallet doesn't catch on there so the magnets don't work through there if you want to use it with accessories, their new case, which I really do like, is the Magic Stand case. Now, this one's a really good, ingenious idea, and I haven't seen this before. Really ingenious idea about getting the magnets into the back of this case, and it doubles as a stand as well. So you've got this magnet that goes in there, which allows you to put the phone, let's put the phone in, fits well, fits clicks in very nicely. Now we've got the magnets on here, which is a ring. So of course the mag chargers work very well, very strong magnets on here. Now the only thing you're probably gonna have with these cases is when you've got the magnet charger on there, this stand that they've got, which doubles as a magnet on the back of here, is gonna pull out, so it's quite a strong magnet, but this is a ring that pulls out and doubles as a stand, so the phone can actually stand up as well. You can also use it with your fingers to put your fingers through the phone like that to hold it. For a more secure holding position when you're shooting or on the phone, whatever you're doing, that's a really cool magnetic ring on the back of the Magic Stand one. So like I said, doubles with the MagSafe charger, doubles as a stand and you can use it as a finger loop as well and it will work with all the MagSafe compatible devices. As you see, when I put that on the back of there, it bonged to say the Apple Wallet was on there. You didn't quite see it on the screen. I'll do it again. There we go. So this is probably my favorite case out of the lot. I do tend to use MagSafe accessories from time to time. I do use the MagSafe charger. I do like wireless charging rather than plugging it in via cable. So this is probably the case I'd recommend out of all of them. They're all nice cases, they're good quality, and for about $25 to $35, depending on which model you go for here, I fully recommend them. So there we go, some nice cases from Case Go and check them out. All the links will be in the description. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, that's real good.